Around the world, modernization and globalization have caused an influx of organisms into new areas. These organisms are referred to as invasive species and can pose a threat to the native ecology of the area. In northern Vermont, these organisms, namely insects, are causing problems. The national parks are a large area of concern, as Ranger Julie explains. The hemlock woolly adelgid has decimated the hemlocks. This little tiny thing just attaches to the back of the leaves and sucks the lifeblood out of the hemlocks. We have the Asian longhorn beetle here, which damages the maple trees. And the other big one that we are really scared of is the emerald ash borer. We are very <laughs> lucky in Vermont because we have a secret weapon. The winters in Vermont are so harsh and so prolonged that there are a lot of living things that can't get through them. So that seems to protect us a little bit from some of these pests, particularly because of the habit that our winters have of thawing and then freezing again in spring. So the larvae will hatch out when there's a nice warm spring day and they'll all be gaily eating away and then suddenly, bang, the temperature will drop to 20 below and that's the end of all of those larvae. But the climate is changing. Our winters are getting warmer. We don't seem to be having quite the same pattern in the spring. As the climate changes, insects are no longer threatened by the extreme conditions in northern Vermont. They can slowly migrate north and certain species are taking advantage of the vast farmland by foraging on crops, as farmer Tim Taylor explains. We didn't have the tomato hornworm for the first 20 years that we farmed. And then all of a sudden, this strange thing appeared. But it's definitely an insect we did not have. Some of those tend to blow up from Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and they seem to be staying around more. We recently just got a downy mildew that affects basil. And so early September, it wipes us out in a week, makes it unmarketable. It just keeps changing all the time so that if there are fungicides that would work on it, the next generation of downy mildew comes along, and they're no longer resistant to that particular strain. These species can decimate our food and affect the livelihoods of local farmers. However, foresters and farmers are not the only ones affected. The population of disease-carrying ticks has spiked in recent years. Anybody who spends time outdoors in the Northeast can face the dangers of these insects, including this outdoorsman who just finished a canoe trip. A very real impact is the first thing we're doing after this is we're going to an urgent care clinic because I'm getting treated for a tick bite that I had. I have a rash. When I started doing stuff in the outdoors here 20 years ago, you could go a whole summer without seeing a tick. I think I picked six off of me just embedded over the last month being outside every day and another 50 just off of clothes. That's different. It's a very real consequence. and We work to accept what's here when we're out in the midst of it, but I wish it was like it was 20 years ago in that way. Amongst a host of other problems, climate change has caused invasive species to become an issue that poses health and economic threats to people in New England.